Aquarius, welcome to your June monthly reading. This is a collective reading, so it will not resonate with you all. If this doesn't resonate with you, I encourage you to check your sun, moon, and rising sign video on my channel, as you may be sitting in that energy. Alternatively, you can also click the link in the description box below to my Instagram, Chelsea Therese, where I sell online personal readings all over the world through. Now let's get into your energy, Aquarius. Starting off, we have the Four of Swords. So in reverse as well. So the Four of Swords in reverse is very much burnt out, stressed, feeling restless, feeling overdone. And when this happens, you could be pregnant. You could be offered, this is the pregnancy card. You could be um, very tired because you're pregnant. Or you could be building a new business or a new venture, a new hobby. You definitely have something new on the horizon. And the universe is giving you the creation to create. But you're very burnt out. So something you're trying to create at the moment is making you extremely tired through the start of June. Through the middle of June, you will be feeling a lot of mental curiosity and a lot of mental energy. And it's to do with not working. <laughs> you may have been shifting away from a job that you're in. You may feel like there's just like something that like it just you don't you've lost your passion for it. You're uninspired. You have curiosity to do something else that's not to do with your current work. You have no passion for it. And you're really on the hunt to look for a new path because you're really looking for something new to find in the middle of June to like light your soul up and light you on fire. And your current work or whatever you're doing that you've been working on is not making you feel like that. So you will. You'll be on a search for something to make um, you really alive. Someone is coming clean. You could be coming clean to someone about something you've done. Or someone may be coming clean to you. Um, and what they're coming clean, they're coming clean because they want to have a new beginning. They want to have a clean slate with you. They want to have a new beginning. They want to step into the unknown. And they want to um, be like a free spirit. And they're really... They're coming clean. They're rethinking their approach, but they're still using deception. So be wary of this energy. Someone wants a new beginning with you, and they're trying to become off innocent, but they, 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 they some of the things they've done aren't very innocent, and they're a little bit deceptive. They are trying to play it off like, oh, this was just a mistake, and they are coming clean about it. But I feel like they probably may do this thing again. So if it's you, be careful with the promises you're making. And if it's not you, be careful with what you are hearing people promise you. Because it may not it may not be what you actually think. Because they, they're a deceptive... That's a deceptive um, trust. This person has a dog. Or you have a dog with this person. There's something to do with a dog. The hidden energy for you is the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So the hidden energy for you is that you're recovering from money. Um, but someone around you is very, very stingy and they're using power and domination over you. So be careful because someone is playing mind games with your money. Through June, money is the secret energy, the secret energy, the hidden energy from you is that money is going to be really difficult. There's a lost opportunity. There's going to be a bad investment coming up. Um, and there's a missed chance to get some money. And there's a lot of strings attached to certain job opportunities. So be very careful with what you do with certain money opportunities. Because there's a lot of there's a lot of like it may seem like really good on the surface but there's a lot of strings attached little under fine 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 prints that you really need to make sure that you might be have to work overtime and not get as much as you think the advice for you Aquarius is you are the shit don't forget it Take a fucking trip. Go see some shit. Do some new things. Talk to people cooler than you. 
Get some fucking sleep. You are being an ass because you are fucking tired. Face a pillow now. Whatever you were thinking about, don't do it. Now is not the fucking time. Eat your vegetables. Eat some shit made from Mother Nature. And Aquarius, what somebody is thinking about you through the month of um, June. This is, could be a lover, a past lover, or it could be a family member or a friend. But it is somebody who's thinking about you a lot in June. And what they are thinking is, I replay our conversations over and over. It was my fault, but I blamed you. I love you unconditionally. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I can't stop thinking about you. I replay our conversations over and over. It was my fault, but I blamed you. I love you unconditionally. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I can't stop thinking about you. This person's obsessed with you, Aquarius. And then on the end here, Aquarius, we have your romance and love life energy. And what's coming through for that is getting to know each other as you reveal your inner most selves your bond deepens retreat it's time to disconnect from the world and calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together okay aquarius please like and subscribe as it really helps my channel if you did want to book a personal reading make sure you Click the link in the description box below to my Instagram, Chelsea Trees. Sending you all love and light. I'll see you next month. Thanks for watching, Aquarius.